This is Freewell's new T1 travel tripod. It is the smallest, lightest, full-feature tripod in the world. Hi, it's Jimmy Chang here from Red35. At the time of making this video, Freewell's T1 is the lightest travel tripod on earth, beating almost everything on the market when it comes to weight. Over the years, I've used many tripods, and my top three choices are always the obvious, three-legged thing, Gizzo, and Manfrotto. You may have seen that I have featured many three-legged thing tripods in my videos. Well, for absolute good reasons, because they are good and extremely value for money. Pound per performance is simply off the chart. And Gizzo is perhaps the most sturdy, well-built tripod money can buy. But boy, you do have to pay for that. But if you want the utmost stability, Gizzo is always going to be in pros conversations. But I love three-legged things, a British company that splashes some design flair to generally boring black tripods on the market. But it's not just the look though, their tripods are extremely functional and well-built. And my third choice is, well, another obvious, Manfrotto, a typical Italian affair that almost all photographers know. But all I have to say is that their tripod has been a little bit of a letdown in recent years, over diversifying and simply too many models to choose from, while there aren't many technical differences between them. The reason I spent the last few minutes talking about these brands is that, well, you're almost guaranteed you've never heard of Freewell Tripod. And this is because this T1 is their very first. And boy, what a first impression they have given me. And quite frankly, I've been longing for a tripod that is light enough not to feel it when I travel. Despite my love for my daily tripod, the three-legged thing Billy that I'm using right now, is not small or light enough that I would call it travel friendly. And I do have a gizzle, but it's becoming a museum piece as I feel it's too expensive to carry around. And Ben Row that I also have is light and tall, but the head is only stable for the lightest camera setup. Freewell seems to have solved all the problems I mentioned earlier. And first and foremost, as said before, this T1 is feather light. At 900 gram, including the purpose-built hybrid fluid head, it is indeed the lightest tripod I've ever tested. Beats all the previous best, including Gizzo Series Zero and the Benro C180C carbon tripod. Both weight around one kilogram. In terms of size, well, it is also very, very small. When it's fully collapsed, the T1 is only 428 millimeters long, including the head, and 61 millimeters thick. Significantly shorter than the Benro and thinner than all small travel tripod out there, including the Gissel, Benro Slim, and even Peak Design. And better still, the T1 costs less than all but Benro. So this is pretty amazing. Build quality is great, full carbon tube with aluminium canopy and center column, but it's the finish that really impresses. The crisscross carbon pattern elevates the look just enough to say that I'm not a budget toy. And those red anodized turn knobs and leg locks give some lift to the otherwise very boring black tool. And the fluid head is also made with machine aluminium and designed in a way that it collapses to a tiny dimension that fits within the 61 millimeter thickness when it, yeah, when the trouble is closed. <laughs> so nothing protrudes, making it visually smaller. One of the key designs that Freewell employs is the triangle center column that is also contoured to make the legs even closer to each other when the tripod is collapsed. A similar concept that Peak Design uses for their tripod. But because of the contour that I mentioned earlier, Freewell can still use circular tubes that is not only stronger, but visually smaller too. In terms of payload, Freewell also scored pretty high with this little T1. The main tripod has a maximum capacity of eight kilo, and the head can support around five kilo. So realistically, you are looking at a camera setup that under five kilo, and the extra capacity that can be carried by the legs are mainly used for backhanging underneath for extra stability or other accessories that you may want to attach to the tripod, which I'll come to that in a minute. Or if you really want, yeah, change the head and use something that can take a little bit more load if you really want. 
but ultimately this is a travel tripod if you hang in a lot of heavy stuff on it you might as well get a full feature full capacity heavy duty tripod for heavier setup this is a travel tripod at the end of the day in addition to the good build and interesting design freewell also uses the unusual like extension locking mechanism there is no visible flip or turn lock and then they are all internal and the concept is pretty much like a selfie stick clockwise to loosen and anti-clockwise to tighten simple quick and effective however it is also all hidden which also means that it's not very easy to service if something is stuck or broken and i will have to report back over a long period of time to see if it holds up over time speaking of legs this is a five session extension tripod that goes up to 1500 millimeters when it's fully extended and 1248 millimeters when the center column is down and can go as slow as 160 millimeters when the legs are fully collapsed and spread out while it can't beat Benro for height, it is indeed in line with the rest of the travel tripod options out there. I'm 173, so it is tall enough for my photography work and some casual filming while I'm traveling. But it is not tall enough for my YouTube work, as I like to have my camera slightly above my eye level, just like what I'm doing right now. As for the hybrid fluid head, it is a great unit. But no, this is not the best head I've ever seen. Is this a good head for lightweight system and definitely perfect for travel use? As said earlier, 5 kg may not sound a lot for the payload, but it is definitely enough for most mirrorless systems out there, including some heavier lenses, and perfect for all my MFT works. The head has an Arca Swiss compatible system and an unusual plate arrangement that you can rotate it to shoot your particular setup. Most video head uses sectional arrangement for best stability when using heavier scenic gear or when mounting a heavy lens with integrated tripod collar. But the fluid hat are not usually compatible with camera with L brackets because the camera will be mounting transversely, basically facing the wrong way. But the T1, you can simply unlock, lose, or loosening this lock cool system and turn it 90 degree. This is just genius. Another cool thing is the mounting plate itself. It can double up as a smartphone holder, perfect for TikTokers and IG reelers. And there are also markings everywhere so you can pretty precise with your setup. And this is bloody brilliant. Finally, the big fat rubber feet, which is really good and grippy, but I would like to see changeable tip for different terrains, something like the three legged thing has done. That would really add some versatility to the setup. However, what I can say is that Freewell has done very well in designing their very first tripod, and I hope that will be their last one. And I'm curious to see what's in place for the future. Minus my concern on the longevity of the leg lock itself, well, this is a very, very cool travel tripod. Definitely better than anything on the market that you can buy in 2024. Because, well, it is very functional, it designs cool, and it doesn't cost you a bomb either. So I would highly recommend anyone who needs a full feature, feather lightweight travel tripod. So well done, Freewell. <laughs> So that's it folks, I hope you enjoyed today's review and tell me if you fancy an ultra featherweight lightweight tripod for your next trip. And what are you currently using if you have one already? And let me know in the comment section below. And thanks again for watching and you know what to do now. Some people like this video and sub if you want to stay in touch with all things photography, filming and of course, tax and gadgets for your photography and filming gear. Peace. <laughs>
who would put an air tag on a tripod? But I guess you may want to if you want to track your tripod in a, in, in a forest if you do lose it somehow. And uh, But anyway, this, this is interesting, really interesting stuff. Uh, but lastly, I am using the uh, OM system OM1 Mark II to film this video and I'm presuming that it's tracking me fine. So well done OM system as well for finally improving the CAF with human tracking on the video side uh, for the latest camera. If you haven't seen the review, the link is up here. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy your day and go and shoot some more. And if you uh, really need a travel tripod, I would encourage you to check out Freewell's latest thing, which is highly recommend, you know, and uh, I haven't seen any other things I would re recommend at this moment in time because all of them are more expensive or just doesn't have the same capacity or build quality as this one. So this is kind of like the best of everything. Perfect. Anyway, I'll leave the link in the description below so you can check out later. Until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.